Let's talk about the Carolina Panthers. This team finds themselves in a very interesting situation. The Carolina Panthers have the ninth overall pick in the NFL draft, and it seems like they're in no man's land yet again. A couple years ago, they had the major decision to make. Do they take J.C. Horn? Do they go with Justin Fields? They went with J.C. Horn. And this team is never going to be a team that only wins two to three games in a season because of the talent that they have in their roster. But they're also not a team that's good enough right now without the quarterback position to be a team that can make it into the playoffs. They lost against Tom Brady and crew right before that last game of the season. And it was because the secondary was hurt and Sam Darnold made some mistakes. But they stuck into the game with Steve Wilkes. The Carolina Panthers have to get the quarterback position right this time in this offseason. You have five consecutive losing seasons. Back to 2018, they went 7-9. 2019, 5-11. 2020, 5-11 again. 2021, 5-12. 2022, 7-10. Now, you could say that's underneath Matt Rule. It was just bad circumstances. I thought Matt Rule was a horrible head coach. And go back and look at the video say he should have been fired even before last season. They shouldn't have brought him back. But I will say this. He never had a competent quarterback to work with. Teddy Bridgewater, Sam Darnold, P.J. Walker started some games, and Baker Mayfield. None of those guys are needle movers. The Carolina Panthers need a guy that can go out there, just get the ball there efficiently, and just work off the run game. And the Carolina Panthers have nine pieces on this team. But they went out and they hired Frank Wright. A lot of people feel like Steve Wilkes should have been the head coach, including me. I don't hate the Frank the Frank Reich hiring. I think Frank Reich will be a good coach with this team. He was a good coach with the Indianapolis Colts. He was in a similar situation to Carolina Panthers where when Andrew Luck retired, he had Jacoby Brissett, Phillip Rivers, Carson Wentz. They traded for Matt Ryan and Sam Elger had to play some games. They just fired him before the season ended. And he got two playoff appearances out of that. It was just a chaos situation in the quarterback position. I am very fearful that he may be entering the same situation with this team. I do think the Panthers have a better roster than the Indianapolis Colts, and that can be debated. You have guys like DJ Moore, Deonta Foreman, had a good season this season when they traded Christian McCaffrey, 914 yards, five touchdowns. Chuba Hubbard's a good backup running back, 466 yards and two touchdowns as well. You have guys like Brian Burns who had 12 and a half sacks. Frankie Louvu has seven sacks, one forced fumble, one interception. Shaq Thompson is still a good player. The secondary when healthy is still very solid, still very good. And Dante Jackson and in J.C. Horn and Jeremy Chin. And you have Xavier Woods at safety position as well. So you have good players on this team. You have a very good, strong defense. Credit to Steve Wilkes because he pulled him through. But I am very concerned that he may be in the same situation that he was in with the Indianapolis Colts. I think that the Carolina Panthers can use the picks that, that they got from San Francisco 49ers when they traded Christian McCaffrey to try to get the first overall pick with that. But you will be sacrificing some first-round picks as well. And I think that is worth it. To get a guy like a C.J. Stroud or a Bryce Young would be tremendous for this team. Or even getting a Will Levis, in my opinion. They sent out a lot of fillers to Will Levis this year. And they sent a lot of scouts to his games to go out there and look and see how he was performing in Kentucky. And I believe he will be a better fit with this team than Anthony Richardson. I know some Carolina Panther fans like Anthony Richardson's game. I like Anthony Richardson, but I think it will be a huge reach to take him with the ninth overall pick. You're going off a of base potential, and the Carolina Panthers don't have time to just sit up here and wait on a quarterback to develop for the next two to three years. They already are behind right now. This is a team that almost made the playoffs this year. And they would have beat Tom Brady and crew, and they would have beat the New Orleans Saints like they did in the last game of the season. But the thing is, it's a quarterback issue. That's the main thing that's holding this team back. And they're $7 million over the cap. I believe that they will either go out there and try to get a veteran like Jimmy Garoppolo. That would be something interesting to try to do. Get a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo, bring back Sam Darnold on the cheap deal. Because Sam Darnold, when you give him a good pocket and give him a good run game, he has seven touchdowns, three interceptions this year. Sam Darnold is a very capable quarterback if he's in a perfect situation. The offensive line is holding up and the run game is clicking and working. But the more pass attempts you give Sam Darnold, the more chance you're giving him to throw an interception. Because the turnovers are still a huge part of why he's not a franchise quarterback in the NFL. And he makes too many dumb mistakes. He's just not a starting quarterback consistently in the NFL. I believe that he will be a good backup, but a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo could be a bridge quarterback that they could look into. But I'm very concerned about this team going to the NFL draft. Having the ninth overall pick is not something that is very good for this team when you need that position. And there's so many teams in front of you, like the Houston Texans, like the Indianapolis Colts, the Las Vegas Raiders, and even other teams that may be trying to trade up with the Chicago Bears and may beat you to the punch to draft these quarterbacks. There's only really three solid quarterbacks that can come out and play right now. And then, like I said, it's Will Levis, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson needs a lot of developing. 
So that would be the dream situation. You get a guy like Jim Garoppolo and you hope Anthony Richardson is there with by when you select with the ninth overall pick and you just try to scoop him up that way. But the way that this draft may go down, and we don't even know. I don't know how this draft will go down, but we see it every year. Teams always trade up for quarterbacks. They always do. Except for last year was the one year Kenny Pickett was the only quarterback taken in the first round. But when you have a strong, rich quarterback class, even decent quarterbacks, teams trade up for them because it's such a rich position that not too many teams in the NFL have. But every NFL team in the every NFL team is willing to go out there and trade a lot of draft capital for it and even trade players for it. So the Carolina Panthers, I believe that they have the picks for it. They're behind the cap. They'll get that situated. They have a good general manager, in my opinion. They've done everything right. They've drafted the right players, Akeem Okwanwu. They fixed the offensive line. They've done everything right. You have the good wide receivers in DJ Moore, T. Marshall. You have the good players there. You just got to get the quarterback position right. So let me know in the comment section, who should the Carolina Panthers target this offseason? Should it be a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo? Should they try to make a major trade this offseason? I don't see this team making a major trade for any top veteran quarterback on the market for one they should be afraid because you look how Russell Wilson looks at the Denver Broncos. That's a special situation. But you're also going to be trading a lot for that person and you're going to be taking on the contract. I think that you go into free agency and you just try to get a serviceable quarterback, try to bring back Sam Darnold. If that's the route you think this team could go, if you agree with me, let me know in the comment section. And if you think that they should trade up in the draft to try to get a guy like a Bryce Young or a CJ Stroud, also let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. And also let me know how you feel about the future of the Carolina Panthers. Most importantly, want each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.